All right, guys, I just I wanted to I, I it popped up for a second. So you may have noticed what I was going to transition to here. But, you know, we talked about education. Let's talk about might as well physical fitness around gaming, because there was this really fun story that came out that said Fortnite players burn the most calories per gaming session, which I thought was cool. And some they, they actually did the experiment and they quantified it. And a, a Fortnite player burns one hundred and ninety four calories per gaming session on average, followed by FIFA at 189 and Call of Duty at 188. So they they task 17 gamers to play seven of the most popular video games and they rank them. And Fortnite got gamers' hearts pumping the most on average. So it said, you'd need to do 353 squats or 162 push-ups or 239 crunches to equal 90 minutes of playing Fortnite making this the best gaming alternative to a workout. So here's the ranking, Fortnite, FIFA, Call of Duty, Apex, Elden Ring, Minecraft, and GTA uh, rounding out this top list. Now, um, in terms of the maximum number of calories burned in the study, again, Fortnite racked up 554, but FIFA was ahead with 580. So on average, Fortnite was better, but over the whole session, uh, FIFA came out ahead. Now, I don't think we need to spend too, too much time on this. Now, if you look at the games that get your heart pumping the most, it was actually Call of Duty Warzone. I don't know if that's, you know, we we can have some theories. Is it toxicity? And you just, you're, is it like being angry that gets your heart going in something like Call of Duty? Um, but that this was the study. Um, you know, it's a bit of a silly article, but I was curious. I wanted to put this next to the education thing because we're talking about all kinds of benefits now, right? Um, Lindsay, what do you think of this? I I think this is hilarious and a really fun <laughs> study. Um, this actually reminds me of when I stopped playing basketball, I started coaching and my Fitbit would always register coaching as exercise because my heart rate was so high during the games. <laughs> um, so I, I can see why this would register as exercise, but I, this is, I mean, this is not really useful, I think, and doesn't tell us very much about gaming and fitness as a whole, but it is a fun study. And it's interesting to know, like, how much, I don't know how much that kind of, the kind of high adrenaline situations actually do have an impact on your health. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're not building muscle, right? No. <laughs> I, it, there's there's clearly some cardiovascular benefit here. I'm not I'm not a doctor, right? So please don't take this as medical advice. Um, but it sounds like, in theory, you could sit and play Fortnite all day long and actually burn quite a few calories. Jimmy, uh, this is how you, you know, stay like looking so good, right? Calories, so I don't know, like. Sleeping burns more calories than sitting, so I could sleep all day and lose That's weight. Funny. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> what I love about this is that what you know, if you're a Fortnite gamer, just a hardcore gamer, anyone that's a hardcore gamer, you uh, one of the terms used is calling those kids sweats. I don't know if you guys have heard that. It's just one of those things. So I love that this actually adds uh, data and a little bit of maybe science. I don't know to uh, to a term that we've been using. I'm going to blast this to all my friends and say, hey, skip the gym today. Let's play. Let's play uh, some video games. I will say, having played a lot of Fortnite and Warzone, that the end game in Warzone does get my heart pumping a little bit more than it does in Fortnite for whatever reason. And uh, especially if you're the last one left on your team, that's when I think that, <laughs> that you really burn them with the most calories because you don't want to you don't want to screw up for everybody. Pretty fun. Um, I think this is clear to me. Um, everyone can cancel their gym memberships and just uh, just reinstall Fortnite. It's the, I think the, the conclusions here are, are really clear.